Hello and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Doug Sean. I am the founder of Forthright Films. In 2019, we began documenting the testimonies of Christian tribal people around the world and eventually became focused on the testimonies of Christian Native Americans. Almost immediately, we ended up at the Red Lake Reservation in Minnesota, where we met some incredible people from the Midwest, Canada, and Oklahoma. Since we launched this mission, we have made multiple trips to the Red Lake Reservation and also trips to Oklahoma, South Dakota, and the Lower Sioux of Minnesota. Altogether, we have filmed close to 100 stories of hope from people from 14 different tribal backgrounds. Last year, I began talking with Jimmy Muskrat about retracing the Trail of Tears and looking for stories of hope along the path. We have spent a year connecting with people and making a plan, and now we are ready to head out this fall and retrace the trail. This trail was started in the mid-1800s when the United States began forcefully removing Native Americans from their tribal lands to relocate them in Oklahoma. For roughly 70 years, Native Americans were marched across the United States to a land that was foreign to them. As many as 5,000 Cherokee, died along the way. While most people would film a documentary like this to focus on the real travesties that took place, we are doing something a little different. Our goal is to look for stories of hope along the way. How do you overcome such a horrible scenario is the question we want to ask. In November, we will begin a 2,800 mile trek that will take us out to South Carolina and then traveling the 1,400 mile Trail of Tears from South Carolina to Oklahoma and then back to Wisconsin. This will take us over mountains, rivers, valleys, through cities and country back roads. We will pass mass graves and in locations of abandoned encampments, all while meeting with people along the way and hearing their stories. Typically a film like this would have investors and be backed into the tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. And we simply just don't have that. We need people like you to invest in this project today. You can be part of this ministry. You can help us tell the story of Native American people who have overcome so much. And you can do that by investing in our Trail of Tears project. You can invest at www.givesengo.com slash trail of tears or through our website at www.forthrightfilms.org. Again, that's forthrightfilms.org. With your help, we will be able to document these stories of hope. Thank you, and may God bless you for your giving heart. I want to thank, again, my brother, Doug Shaw, for coming and being obedient to the Holy Spirit to come to our home, to come and have a, a love for our people and a concern for our Native people. And I don't believe this is the last time he'll be with our Native people. He'll be in connection, connection with them many times. He'll be part of what God is doing in Transformation Acres and with our Native people throughout this nation. Howdy, my name's Jimmy Five-O Muskrat from Still, Oklahoma. And um, I really, really enjoy these, this ministry here Doug's doing and this mission and testimonies and everything and how it's impact many tribes. Uh, you know, I did a video in Minnesota with him and, and uh, you know, and, and me and Doug became great friends and a great brother. I really enjoy what the Lord's doing through him. But you know, testimony needs to be heard. These tribes, you hear tribes, you hear bad, bad stories, and this has happened, this happened. They need to hear what the Lord can do for the tribes, you know. And um, the video I did last time with Doug at Minnesota, um, um, you know, it's just, it was just amazing that many testimonies, many testimonies, I got texts from all over, like, hey, I needed, it. I needed to hear that, I needed to see that. Recently, it, uh, uh, Brenda Choctaw Nation, she, she told me that, uh, she told her, I don't know if it was her sister, she said, you need to watch this video. I'm trying to get her to come to church, but she watched it. And she said, I think I'll come. I'll come here. 
You know, these, these videos or, you know, these testimonies were making a noise about Jesus. And we had some young preachers this week did an awesome job. Their testimonies and everything, it needs to be heard out there. You know, it's amazing. There's so much going on in our tribes, so much going on in this world. They're looking for answers. Jesus has compassion for your situation. That's why these testimonies need to be heard, you know. These tribes, I mean, it's amazing to hear what the Lord's doing in different tribes. And that's what Doug is doing, traveling all over. And But I, I, I just think the Lord, these testimonies, have, it has making an impact in tribes. Every tribe, every tribe is, is going through some facing something. You got meth. You, you got suicide. You got drinking. You got anger and all that. That's, that's not going to get you nowhere. That's not going to accomplish nothing. You know, that's the flesh. This ministry here, you get to hear testimonies of each tribe of what the Lord is doing. I really enjoy this ministry. I mean, Doug, we've been having a great time these past couple of days, you know, handing out clothes and stuff like that. And ministries like this need to be supported. Go out there. I think this is a great ministry. I would love this to go to each tribe and say, can I hear your testimony? Can I get, it needs to be heard. These testimonies, I mean, I'm just hearing so many, you know, just watching one video, they're texting me and saying, man, I needed to hear that. I need to hear that today. You know, that is, that's what's all about right there. They watch these testimonies and they get encouraged. They get built up and everything because you never know what somebody's facing. You never know what somebody's going through, but they need to hear your testimony. This is what Brother Doug's doing, traveling all over. And I'm, I'm glad to have him. I look forward, we're having a great time. We're, he's going out to Red Lake today, and, but he's got four fried bread sandwiches. He's, he's good, he's good. And tribe, you know what I'm talking about when I talk about fried bread sandwiches. That's good stuff. Can't find that in the store. He's blessed. But you know what? I thank the Lord for him, that he's going out and doing this. And the Lord's really blessed his ministry in many ways. You know, and when I first met him, he just had one camera. Now he's got all these lights and everything. And that's the way the Lord works. You go forward, he'll supply everything. You go forward, he'll never fail you. He'll never let you down. That's what these testimonies are about. If it wasn't for the Lord Jesus, there wouldn't be no hope. They wouldn't be no way. I'm so glad there's hope today. I'm so glad there's a way today.